what is up YouTube it is your boy joker 50 x and I know I've been away for a while but I've been trying to figure out how to rebrand my channel in a sense as in what I want the majority of my posts to be about and since for the most part most of my posts on my channel have been mainly related to anime and anime games I decided my main YouTube channel will be based around anime so if you're not really into anime and you're more so into just like general gaming I am actually I already have a channel called joker 850 x gaming which is going to be surrounded with like just whatever type of games i feel like playing and providing uh audio for or whatever or reviews or what have you and then i'm also gonna because this is like my passion and my hobby and what i do like literally all the time i'm debating on doing a photography channel as well because i am a photographer and um that is mainly what i do in my life i, I do photography so if you're interested in photography, I will, and depending on the type of feedback I get back, two or three people comment saying, yeah, I'd make a photography channel, I'll do that. And that'll be my third channel because I have plenty of ideas and I just haven't been putting them into play. And again, most of my games that I've been posting on my channel has been anime related, hence to why this will be an anime centric channel an anime gaming centric channel. And I know there's a lot of news that's been coming out about few anime games that I haven't posted anything on and that's simply because I've been busy trying to do other things in my outside life like from YouTube such as photography and my nine to five job so I haven't really had much time to kind of fill in the role of giving my feedback on some of the new content coming out for games such as Dragon Ball Fighter Z or um what is what is the Naruto game called Nar Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers I just haven't had the time to actually sit down and give any feedback for those games so if you're interested matter of fact it doesn't matter if you're interested I'm gonna provide that anyway because again this is my anime based channel so starting probably next week I'm gonna be up I, I have to upload a video at least at least every day of the week like I, I gotta stay on top of things and I'm gonna have a reminder on my phone like daily that I need to make a video regardless of what it's for whether it be a discussion a review or or um a survey or anything like that or maybe even a giveaway or have dual commentary with someone or speak with guests or something like that i i need to provide more content for the subscribers that i do have because i do notice that i'm continuing to gain subscribers whether i'm posting stuff or not and it's not fair to them for people to sub to my channel and then they're not getting content on a continuous basis so I'm sorry about that, you guys, but let's jump straight into today's video. So, after a somewhat brief hiatus, yet again, I've done this before, but I've been thinking, all right, and everyone has a favorite anime character, and some people have their reasons why, but most people don't really give their exact reason why, and well, I decided that I would. So there's this game on the PS4 called J-Star Victory, um, and it's pretty much an anime game. It has a collaboration of multiple, like the main cast for anime games, and it's a pretty fun game in my opinion. Now, could they have done a bit more for as the combo system and and stuff like that? Yeah, but a lot of these companies have gotten lazy and they're just chasing the dollar bill, which is pretty sad in my opinion. But back to the main topic. And my favorite anime character of all time is Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. And here's the reason why. Now, I don't know what becoming the Pirate King may mean to most people, but in my eye, and I would assume in Luffy's eye, becoming Pirate King means you have the ultimate amount of freedom. Like you're free to do anything in the world and you don't have to worry about being judged or attacked. You can just be happy. And if you look at Luffy's character, He's, he has this kind of carefree demeanor in a sense because he's always excited. He, he has a childish mindset, but that goes like hand in hand with, I mean, his goals. If you're a pirate king and you're the strongest man on the sea, why are you worried about anybody else? What more can you worry about? Like you you rule the sea. And if you're an uptight character who's overly paranoid and always looking over his shoulder, then it's just like, you're not fit to be the king. Like. You need to know how to relax 
and just enjoy the simple things. And one thing Luffy does that I will say a lot of protagonists kind of they share in common. If they're they're all most protagonists always seem to be this this happy-go-lucky kind of character, and I have no problem with that. But it's it's just so common that it's like, are any protagonists really different? But when it comes to shonen anime, that's kind of the the common trope. So it's to be expected, and you know what to expect from a, a shonen character. They're either loud, they eat a lot, they're really eccentric they're just all over the place with their personality at times so it, it's to be expected and that doesn't take anything away from this lovable character and in the gameplay you'll see in the background i'll be losing, using luffy and j stars and i i really just love the idea of one piece as a whole and if you don't really know what one piece means then you should probably watch the anime and then come up with your own definition for it before I spoil that for you, or before I spoil what I believe to be the true essence of the One Piece. So, I will save that for another day. Matter of fact, I will drop that tomorrow. Yeah, that'll work tomorrow. So, if you guys are, if you guys were ever interested as in who was my favorite character in anime, now you know Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Um, Overall, it's a great anime. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. I'm sure, it has 100, 810 episodes, but uh, if you're interested in that type of thing, pirates, fighting, happiness, whatever, positivity, it's the perfect anime for you. And it has a whole deeper meaning than what just appears on the surface, which is why I love the anime so much. And every character has a detailed background as to what led them to become what they are and do what they do so it everything comes full circle in this anime and that's something i really love about it there's no no loose ends really any question you may have it will get answered within the anime or the manga so again if you guys are interested in a long-term good anime to watch i highly recommend one piece or read i highly recommend one piece and I'm actually going to do a Black Clover video as I catch up on the manga because the anime just started recently and I want to talk about that as well. So if you guys are interested in that, hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think. And I appreciate all the support from you guys that have been subscribed to me and watching my videos whenever I drop them. So as always, it was your boy Joker850X and we are out until the next one. Peace.